Okay, so this question, one side of a triangle is six meters more than twice the shortest side. The third side is nine meters more than the shortest side, okay? So we have a triangle. I've decided I'm going to actually draw it. I'd like you to draw it too. And you notice that they're comparing the two longer sides to the shortest side, right? They're comparing the two longest sides to the shortest side, okay? So what I'm going to do for fun is just call the shortest side a nice number like 10, okay? Because everyone likes working with 10. I know you guys don't like X, so don't use X. Forget about X. Let's just do the number 10, okay? Now, what would the other sides be? I want you to press pause on the video and figure out what the other side lengths would be if the shortest side was 10. Okay, have you tried it? So it says that one is six meters more than twice the shortest. The third side is nine meters more than the shortest, right? So what would they be? Well, when I look at that, I'm going to do the third side is nine meters more than the shortest. What would that third side be then? So it would be the shortest. Nine, what's nine more than ten? It's 10 plus 9. So write 10 plus 9. I know that's 19. But write down 10 plus 9 because it's going to help us when we actually get the real answer. Because we don't know if the answer is 10. I just made that up, right? And do the other one. The, the, the other side is 6 meters more than twice the shortest. So what's 6 more than twice 10? What's 6 more than twice 10? Why not do twice 10, right? What's twice 10? That's 20, isn't it? right? What's 6 more than twice 10? Isn't that just, you know, 20 plus 6, 26, isn't it? So it's 2 times 10 plus 6, agreed? So what I'm saying to you is if the shortest side was 10, the other sides would be 19 and 26. And we have it there, 10 plus 19 plus 26, right? That's 29 plus 26. That's uh, 55 but it says that the perimeter is 75. So the perimeter, we don't have it. Um, they all need to add up to 75. And I also want to take this opportunity to do a bit of algebra, seeing as we've been practicing it so much. Um, so we're going to draw the triangle again. And we've had some fun with the shortest side being 10. Now let's see if we can have some fun with the shortest side being some letter. Let's say x. That's our favorite letter in algebra for some reason. So go ahead and figure out what if, if the, sh the when the shortest side was 10, this side became what? 19, which is 10 plus 9. So what's this side going to be now? If this side is x, what will this side be? Write it down. Did you get it? x plus 9, right? And what about this side here? So if, remember when this was 10, this side was 2 times 10 plus 6, twice the shortest side plus 6, 6 more than twice the shortest side, right? So what's it, what's this side length going to be? Can you do it? Press pause and see if you can figure it out. How about twice x plus 6, right? Okay, so now what's the perimeter? The perimeter is? It's all the sides added up, right? So here we added up 10 plus 19 plus 26. But, but when we do our perimeter, we've got to add up each side length. So figure out what the perimeter would be. I know it needs to add to 75, but if you were to add all three side lengths, what would it look like? Did you do it? You would have three sides, one side plus the other side plus the other side, right? Adding up all three sides, what would that be? Can you do it? It's, it's x plus x plus 9 plus 2x plus 6, okay? And all these side lengths add up to what? They all add up to 75, right? So let's add them up now. The, the, uh, let's add like terms. 
So add the x's, uh, add like terms. Now 1x plus 1x plus 2x makes what? 9 plus 6. So now we have 4x plus 15 equals 75. That's a nice equation that we're all used to. And then we solve that, right? So we solve that equation. Press pause and solve it. See if you get the same thing as me. Divide by 4. X equals 15 x equals 15. What does that mean? Are we done? Is that the answer? Do we have anything else to do? Let's read the question again. See, the question says, find all three sides. Now, what did we find? We found one of the sides, which is this one. This short side is 15. That's a good start, but we're not done with the question, are we? What else do we have to find? We have to find 2x plus 6, right? This side, that'll be 2 times 15, right, plus 6, which is 30, whoops, plus 6, which is 36. So this side length is 36. What about x plus 9? What's that? Do that one. 15 plus 9, isn't it? Which is 24. So the side lengths are what? 15, 24, and 36. Now, what's the perimeter? Can you check the perimeter? Can you check the perimeter, right? Well, yeah, because, hey, we found that one side length was 15, right? And the other side length was 36, and the other one was... 24, if you add them, what do you get? 15, carry the 1, that's 3, and 3 is 6, and 1 is 75. Nice, that checked out nicely. So I think that works, doesn't it? If we even read over, if you're doing a test, let's read over it. So one side of a triangle is 6 more than twice the shortest side. This is the shortest side, 15. Twice that is 30, plus 6 is 36. That checks out, that looks good. The third side is 9 more than the shortest. So the shortest is 15, and 9 more than that is 24. Yes, it is. Indeed, that works out. So it all works out. They all add up to 75, and that's your answer. All right, so it takes a little bit of work, but, uh, but that's, how, that's how it works.